Hi, my name is Michael and I run a YouTube channel called Still Just Mike. On that channel, we do fun stuff, all right? We do some Wi-Fi battles, we do some Pokemon related battles, we do some musical content, which is fun. But today, uh, I'm gonna be bringing you one from the first one. I'm gonna be bringing you a Wi-Fi battle. Uh, why is this Wi-Fi, why is this Wi-Fi battle so special that I have modified the intro? Because it's versus Pumpkin. Pumpkin has been a long time watcher of my stuff on YouTube. And uh, on my stream the other day, he came in and we battled and it was fun. Uh, and then afterwards, he comes back and he's like, hey, you guys want to rematch? Or hey, you want to rematch? And I said, hey, sure, why not? That'd be fun. Uh, and so the next day happened, or I think maybe even the day after, and he was like, hey, you want that rematch? And I'm like, yeah, I'm at work. Let me let me call you later. Let me, let me uh, tweet at you later. Uh, and so I got home from work, and he's like, oh, you want a rematch? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm taking a nap. And then I woke up, and then he was like, hey, you want a, want a rematch? And I'm like, yes, yes, now I am ready for a rematch. And so we had this. And so we had this. So I want you to take a look at this team right over here. Okay, uh, he's got the Porygon too. He's got the Slowbro, the Slurpuff, the freaking Venusaur, the Met, uh, not the Metacham, the uh, Mean 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 Chow, and the uh, Gliscor. Now, already you can tell that this is going to be a Stolly match. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started by pushing this button right down here. Now, uh, while, while this gets started, this is a Clementine. It's a mix between a Mandarin and a regular Orange. It's neither of the two, but it is both. So, now you've learned. So, here we go. He's gonna start with the Glasscore. I'm gonna start with the Nidoking. He's gonna take out the Glasscore because, hey, he doesn't want to keep a Glasscore in against the Nidoking. I might have the Ice Beam! And so, uh, he sends out his Porygon too, which has Trace, of course, so he's gonna take the Shear Force. Isn't that great? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ice Beam. Ice Beam on the Porygon 2 with a Violet with uh, defensive investment is not going to do much at all, but hey, I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and use a Sludge Wave. Find out how much that'll actually do. He's gonna go for the Ice Beam, and that's going to take me down all the way to red, so I'm like, you know what? That's probably not the best idea. Probably not a good thing for me to keep in this Nidoking, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into my Cafagragus, because Cafagragus can take a couple hits. Easy peasy, but uh, he's gonna take that time to switch to uh, use his recover, heal up a bunch of his HP, pretty much bring him back to full without like that tiny little smidgen of HP that's missing. He's gonna take out his Porygon too because he's afraid of any kind of knockoff. But uh, fearing the knockoff, obviously, what do you do? You bring in the Venusaur, and the Venusaur with the Venusaurite is not gonna get knocked off. So easy peasy, he's gonna go ahead and uh, Mega Evolve, which isn't that just fantastic. In, in case his team wasn't just ugh, in case the team wasn't bulky enough, he had to go and throw a mega on it. So either way, I'm gonna go for the uh, Will Wisp. Thankfully, he misses. I think it was the Leech Seed. So um, uh, he is gonna get burned, which is nice. So this will give me the opportunity to go for some hexes. Uh, plus, I kind of got that free turn to get the burn off because of the fact that he missed that Leech Seed the turn before. So I'm gonna go for that hex. Uh, that Hex is going to actually do a lot more than I thought it would, uh, but it, it, again, it's on a Venusaur, it's on a Mega Venusaur, so things are always going to be kind of tough. He's going to heal up with the Leech, he's going to uh, get damaged from the burn, uh, and at this point he's just going to start going for some Giga Drains and lower uh, my HP while getting his back up. Knowing that, I'm just going to keep on going for Hexes. I didn't think that he would actually go for the Giga Drain. I thought that he might go for, you know, an Earthquake or maybe, I don't know, any other kind of move. Now now that I think about it, he probably would have gone for a Giga Drain regardless. But either way, uh, he's going to, you know, take a lot of damage. The the fact that I'm Leech Seeded is really hurting me at this point because that would have taken him out if he was not. But he went for the Synthesis, and he's gonna get back up to like 66%, which isn't that fantastic. I'm gonna go for the Hex. The Hex is gonna do a lot of damage. I'm gonna just start mumbling to myself, just words of hatred, because this is the stalliest game that I've ever played. And it, it's it's fun, but you know what? Oh, it, it made me so mad because of things that I didn't know. Either way, so you'll see that later. He's gonna go for the synthesis. The synthesis is gonna bring him back up to about 80%. And at this one, I figured that he was going to synthesize, so I went for the pain split. Pain split's gonna bring me up to 101. He's gonna bring him down to about 50-ish, 52, 53. 
uh, percent, by the way, not HP. And uh, the leech is going to take me just below half. So at this point, I'm like, okay, no, I'm I'm just kind of going back and forth here. So you know what? I'm going to uh, withdraw my Cophagicus. But on that turn, he withdraws his own Venusaur and sends out his Porygon too, probably thinking that um, I'm just going to go for another Hex and completely waste a turn. But I do end up switching out, and I do go for the Gudra. Now... If he had not switched to his Porygon 2, this would have been alright, but the Dragon Pulse is still not going to be doing anything to this dang Porygon 2. It's so unfortunate, but you know what? Neither is his Ice Beam. His Ice Beam isn't going to do that much to my Gudra, because, you know, my Gudra is a Salt Vest. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch back out into Cofagrigus, because I really want to knock off that dang Aviolite. Okay, this Aviolite just needs to go. Alright, so he's going to use that Shadow Ball on my Cofagrigus, and at this point I'm like, oh crap, he had a Shadow Ball, whoops, but that did bring me down to only 11, so I was happy with that. I'm going to go for the Pain Split to bring myself back up to a respectable amount, while taking him down to a disrespectable amount, and uh, at this point I'm like, okay, no, he's probably going to go for another Shadow Ball, I was right, he did end up going for another Shadow Ball, so, assuming that, I do go for the knockoff finally, and I'm going to be able to get off that Eviolite. Oh! Eviolite is my bane. Stall teams are my bane, as it is, I'm sure, for a lot of other people. And then, of course, there's that one person in the comments who's like, No, I'm fine with stall teams. Anyway, so Wall.exe, Porygon, obviously, is going to go for the Ice Beam again. It's not going to do all that much to the Scrafty, which is pretty awesome, because Scrafty is uh, pretty specially defensive. So, he's going to withdraw at this point, send out... Uh, who's he going to send out, actually? He's going to send out Detox, his Toxic Stall Gliscor. Now, this is an interesting set. Now, okay, so I went for a drain, I went for a drain punch, uh, thinking that it was going to be on the Porygon, but it was not. If my uh, Scrafty had Ice Punch, this would have been a completely different game, but it does not. Since then, I have put it on, for sure, because, you know what, this game just kind of scared me. <laughs> Either way, so he's going to get poisoned, obviously, because of his uh, Toxic Orb. And uh, we're going to see that come into play later, but as he switches back out into his Wall.exe. You know, he's going to get the Shed Skin, which is nice, but um, I am I really just don't want to deal with this Porygon. I don't know why I switched out, actually, but now at this point I can switch out into Nidoking. I think I did that on the same turn. Yeah, I switched out into my Nidoking on the same turn that he switched out into his Porygon. Either way, so uh, his Porygon is finally going to go down because I am faster than it. Uh, my Nidoking is, like, at not that much HP, which is not cool, but uh, I don't want to deal with this Mean Shell. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out into my Mandibuzz, which, even though um, has that Dark Typing, has the Rocky Helmet and is a defensive beast. Look at that Mandibuzz. It took absolutely nothing from that fake out. It took, like, what, 25 from that fake out. Uh, and it did more damage to him on the Rocky Helmet. So he's going to go for the U-turn. The U-turn is going to do a little bit more than fake out did, but not that much. But it is going to bring him down to less than half, if you see, because he does have the Life Orb. Uh, the Life Orb completely just wrecked this guy. Either way, he's going to send back out his uh, stupid Gly score. Now, here's where things get dicey. Here's where things get dicey. You can see right here, it's turn 20 out of 31. Okay, he's going he's gonna to po poison heal because that's what he does. He's going to go for the fling. He's going to fling his Toxic Orb over at Mandibuzz. He doesn't have Toxic. He has freaking fling. All right, so he's going to throw that thing, meaning that my knockoff that I go at this turn is going to do absolutely nothing <laughs> because he just flung it on the same dang turn. I'm going to start taking that poison damage, which is not fun at all. And at this point, he's just going to start going for things that will hurt my Mandibuzz. All right, so he's he's doing some some pretty big damage, but, you know, I'm just going to I'm just going to shake it off. I'm going to roost. I'm going to shake it off. Shake it off. I just hit my mic. Whoops. All right, so I'm going to heal myself up, back up a little bit. He's going to poison heal. That's why I hate stall teams, because all it is is I'm going to heal, he's going to heal. Welcome to life. All right, so he's going to withdraw his detox because he doesn't need this Mandibuzz going against this uh, Gliscor, especially if I'm going to roost. So instead, he's going to send out Miss Puff. Now, here's the problem. I'm going to go for the foul play. This would have been a completely different game if I had done the next move properly. All right? Now watch this, watch this. 
the Slurpuff is going to go for the Belly Drum. Obviously, Belly Drum Slurpuff is a very, very, very commonly, commonly well-known thing, all right? But he's going to bring himself below half. He's going to eat that Citrus Berry, of course, taking away his item. Stupidly, I go for a knockoff. Right? So he doesn't have an item for me to knock off. It's going to do that much damage. If I had gone for a foul play, that thing would have been so dead. But I... Mm, but I didn't know my speed tiers. Alright? So here's the thing. My Mandibuzz, of course, is just going to die now. Now watch just... Things start dying. It's stupid. Um, This Slurpuff... Slurpuff has a base speed of 72. Mandibuzz has a base speed of 80. I knew that in terms of base stats, Mandibuzz was freaking faster than the Slurpuff. I'm gonna go for the Mega Sharpedo. Whoa, it's great. First time Mega Sharpedo on my channel. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, it, it, it's it's really cool. I really like Mega Sharpedo in most cases, just not this one. So either way, uh, buh, 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 buh. he has a base speed of 72. Mandibuzz has a base speed of 80 in terms of base speed. I knew that Mandibuzz was faster, but my Mandibuzz is not speed invested at all. All right, and I completely overlooked that. All right, Gudra's going to go down. I sent out Gudra because I was like, oh, no, right? It has Unburdened. So the fact that it lost its item made it faster than my Sharpedo, which it wouldn't normally be. Mm. Either way, um, what I should have done was sent out Gudra, have the GUI, atta uh, have the GUI attached to the Slurpuff, then send out my Sharpedo, uh, protect on the Mega Evolution so that I'll get the speed boost, and at that point, I may have been faster, I would have been faster, than this stupid belly drum slurp puff. I'm gonna go for the drain punch, obviously, because I don't have the ice punch, remember what I said earlier? Isn't that fun? And, of course, he's gonna live with, as I found out later, 6 HP. Um, he's gonna go for the play rough, and that's just gonna take out my entire life. <sighs> But I'm saying, like, hey, your opponent's weak. Go for HP Confagrigus. You can do it. <laughs> and he's just going to go for the flamethrower because he wants to show uh, all of his moveset. But that's going to be the game. <laughs> I got swept by a belly drum Slurpuff because I forgot that Mandibuzz was slower after investments. So, yeah, that's how it goes. But you know what? That's how we learn, all right? This is how we learn in Pokemon, right? We get completely dominated. And then we're like, you know what? This is what I should have done. This is what I'm going to do in the next situation. And then when that situation kind of presents itself, you can stop and be like, hey, you know what? I need to think about this. We need to not go in so headstrong. Because that, that, I think that's the biggest problem in Pokemon. When people go in, you know, too confident in their in their Pokemon, they're like, oh, hey, I can beat the Elite Four. So clearly I could just go for, like, X move and just have it work. Uh, no, not always the case. Either way, if you enjoyed this kind of video, please do let me know by hitting that like button right down there. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I do put out content that is informative and entertaining, I believe. I would hope so. Uh, to you, if it was entertaining, then hit that subscribe button. And if it wasn't, then, well, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe another day. Maybe another series. I have a bunch of series. I have some Battle Maze on. I'm going to be bringing in some musical stuff really soon. I just had a stream for it the other day. I'm rambling. Hey, all right. Well, you guys keep on doing your thing, and I'll be still just Mike. I'll see you guys in another episode of whatever. This battle was... Must stop!